I'm gonna teach you guys how to catfish a man. I'm super excited because, you know, on my channel, we're all about improving yourself, looking like the hottest version of yourself. But I feel like date makeup, whether it's first date or 3,500th date, it's always important to have a good snatched beat. And it's so important to not only for yourself, but to remind your man that you are always going to be the hottest person in the room. So if you have a date at McDonald's or if you have a date at Nobu, Here's for you. So, buckle up for the ride. I'm going to teach you how to look bomb.com and catfish your man. So, first things first, we're going to pick an outfit because the amount of times I have done my makeup, done my hair, and then almost started crying because I could not find an outfit is ridiculous. So, through trial and error, I have learned that picking an outfit is definitely the first thing that you should do, especially if you're going on a date because it really rules out a big chance of having a mental breakdown. So, let's go pick an outfit. All right, you guys, so it's time to pick my outfit. Fit. Today's wardrobe is sponsored by White Fox and I'm so incredibly excited and blessed to be able to pick out of some clothes that they've gifted me. Don't forget if you're going to shop with them to use my discount code which is Leah WF and if you guys want to check out any of the items that I'm wearing today it's all in the description. So first we have this gorgeous oh, dress and I'm super excited to try this on so let's pop this on. Okay, you guys, so this is the dress on. It is beyond stunning and such like a standout outfit if you're going on a date. It gives me a nice hourglass shape since it's like cut out and from the back it does look like a two-piece. I think this is definitely risky to wear to a first date because it's very out there, but definitely like a fun vibe to go with when you're going on a date with your partner. So anyways, love this. We'll see if this is the dress for me tonight, but we're going to move on to the next outfit. Okay, before we get into anything, look at how stunning this top is, the detailing of it. It's just so high quality. It also has adjustable straps, which I love. And then here we have the jeans. I'm so far away right now. It's super cool. They actually don't have like a seam thing. I don't know what you would call the thing that jeans usually have. But these jeans don't have it. And that's why I picked them because I thought it was super cool, super unique. And you could really do this outfit up for a date. Like you'd add like a nice bag and some heels. It would just be so perfect. Before we get into the next outfit, you guys know the white fox jeans. My favorite jeans. I always wear white fox jeans. They're just so fluttering. I don't think I own more than one or two pairs of jeans that aren't white fox. White fox is just the goat in jeans. But anyways, let's move on to the next outfit. So this is the next outfit. And I'm actually dying. Like this is one of the most fluttering dresses I've ever Worn. Wow, obviously black is always a good choice for a date, whether it's first date. Even if you're going to dinner with anyone, like black is always great to wear. It's at nighttime, plus it's very flattering. Like I just love An LVD, little black dress. Oh, what I love about it is it's modest, like it's covering you, but it's still got that sexy element to it. This is honestly so hot. I don't know, I love this dress. By the way, it is a two piece. Like, this is not connected to the dress itself, so you can wear them both separately, which I think is super cute. But anyways, before I give it too much love we're going to move on to the next outfit yeah is the next outfit i've paired this really really flattering like white halter top well, with these like black jeans again this is a gorgeous outfit to wear with heels and a cute bag and it's still giving like sexy look at me i'm the hottest girl in the room whilst having that casual element one of my most favorite like outfit combos to wear to a dinner date is jeans and heels i just think it makes you look so hot and classy this top is also extremely flattering again jeans white fox jeans you cannot go wrong. Okay, you guys, I'm obsessed with this little fit, but we're going to move on to the next outfit. So we have our next outfit. I'm loving these like off the shoulder kind of vibe outfits. I don't know how to put that. But this dress is kind of similar to the black shawl one that I had on before. However, this has like a little bit of a unique pattern on it. And it is actually also a maxi dress. So it's down to the floor. So it really gives you that nice shape. Maybe this is like number one. I don't know. I really love this. I feel like the quality of all of these clothes is just like top notch. Anyways, I have one last outfit. So let's go pop that on. I'm loving this outfit. This has really put a spanner in the works because this is such a different vibe. But I love this vibe. So I have this like, what are these called? Like bodysuit top. And I love how it's black. I love like the straps. It's definitely giving like summer date vibes, like out for lunch. And I've paired this bodysuit with these cargo pants. 
Oh. So nice. Like, this outfit is freaking sick. Like, so hot. I'm feeling myself in this. Each of these outfits are great for any type of date. Like, I feel like this is more of a casual date. This is definitely, like, a going out date. This is giving, like, picnic date. But with heels, it could give, like, dinner date. There's just so many different opportunities for these outfits and different dates. But yeah, I'm going to get changed into my favorite fit right now. I'm actually going to get Adrian to come help me pick one. And then we'll get into makeup. So I just got changed and got Adrian's opinion of what I should wear. So clearly this is the little outfit that he chose. Why did you choose this? I chose this because it's black. Mm -hmm. It's a Thursday, which means like you want to be too extra. And it's low key kind of warm because she's got the sleeves. Here you go. Thanks for helping me. Crack my back. Crack my back. Okay, thank you so much to White Fox for sponsoring this video. Make sure to check out White Fox in the description below. And you can use my discount code. But yeah, let's go do my makeup. Okay, guys, so it is time for the makeup. I'm super excited. This is like always the best time. I think I'm feeling a little bit inspired from my makeup with my first date with Adrian. I also think that's why it's important to pick an outfit first because depending on the vibes and where you're going, you can decide how extra you want to go with your makeup. So since my outfit is pretty out there. I think I can get away with a more, not natural approach, but on that side, like natural glowy glam compared to like full beat down face, which I would maybe wear if I was wearing a casual outfit. But anyway, let's get into it. I always like to be a little bit more bougie when I go on dates and use my more expensive products because it makes me feel cute. I don't know what the mess is that makes me feel so much better about myself when I use my more expensive products, but it's definitely important to really splurge, especially when it's a date because it's all about confidence. You want to feel your best and by looking your best, you feel your best. I feel like that's a scientific fact. I faked her my body and my face is clearly pale and crazy. So I'm going to be adding a few glow drops. My glow drops are literally so old. I've had them for years, but I've really been using them recently. You guys, I'm just so excited for summer. I don't know what it is, but I always feel and look my best in summer. I definitely have seasonal depression, and I'm not saying that lightly. So I am like beyond excited for the warm weather. As you guys know, I have been using the Uncru Beauty Flawless Filter for a while. So I decided to buy the original and test it out and see if this is any better already. It's giving a little bit of a thicker consistency. My aim of the game today is to just have a really glowy, flawless base. Not look caked and emphasize like my features. It's not really coveraging as you can see, but it has all around giving me that even like skin tone look. I'm going to get straight into highlighting. I love being a girl and I also feel like dates are just so fun and they give you an excuse to just go out and like feel special. Like I feel like people make dates too much about impressing the other person when I feel like it always goes better when it's more about you making yourself feel good. I honestly feel like doing your makeup is one of the most therapeutic things. I'm showing you guys how a catfish if you are an individual that likes to wear makeup you know when men get haircuts i feel like that is their catfish moment like a haircut can really transform a guy's appearance which is crazy anyways i'm going to go in and do some cream bronzing dates are really a good time to go all out on the bronzer you want to look snatched you want to look chiseled and you're going to be doing a lot of talk you want those cheekbones to look sculpted as long as it doesn't look muddy it's fine go all out with your freaking contour i like to smile when i'm applying my blush i feel like it just gives that perfect application so i saw this little video on tiktok and it said let your foundation set without powder for about five to ten minutes before you go in and set it with powder so whilst we let it set with nothing on it let's do our eyebrows the days of really dark brows are kind of over i'm just giving the tails of my brows some extra length with a brow pen and i'm just setting them in place and brushing them a little a bit up, not too far up. We're not going for the laminated look. Okay, it's been like five minutes. There's not really any creasing or anything. So maybe leaving it for five minutes before setting is the way to go. Anyways, I'm just setting, especially in my T-zone area with my Givenchy pink powder and a triangle powder puff. Look at that airbrush effect that that powder gives. It's absolutely now that I've set my face, I'm just contouring with a powder contour. And of course, contouring the nasal cavity. I'm also just blushing with a powder blush. Okay, so before we move on with anything, I'm going to hide any pimples or spots and emphasize my freckles with a little brush and an eyeshadow palette. Oh, my 
like to take multiple different colors and size the freckles that I kind of already have. If you're a girl going on a date with a guy that doesn't really know much about makeup, he will look at you and see your freckles and think that you're probably not wearing any face makeup. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. <laughs> Men can't really recognize a full face unless it's cakey, so that's why by adding these little details, you're able to make yourself look a whole lot more natural. All right, I'm now going to spray my face. Now going to highlight. You don't want to go cakey with the highlighter. So this is the most natural one that I have. I'm just popping that on my inner eye corners, my nose, and my brow bone. Okay, so now that my base is done, it's looking absolutely flawless. So we're now going to move on to the eyes. I'm using this Nutter Box of Chocolates palette just because you can never go wrong with brown shades on a date. And I'm just kind of enhancing the natural shape of my eyes. You don't want to start off with really dark brown colors. You want to like build into it. And just remember the more you blend, the more seamless and beautiful it will look. Gold on the lid is also amazing for a first date. So I'm mixing Caram Crunch and Champagne Truffle. I keep I'm not saying first date, but you know, this goes for any date. Gold is really like eye catching. However, this is a game changer. If you want to look sexy and stand out when you're looking across the table at your date, this in low light, it really catches the light and it's just, oh my God, it's stunning. So I love to pack this all over my eyelid. The more the merrier, like you honestly cannot go wrong with this. And you guys know me, no matter the occasion, I love to do a wing. And you guys also know me, I'm obviously going to do an inner eye cap. Wing. I think an inner eye cat wing is definitely necessary because it just makes you look so sexy. It's getting dark in here, but I'm now just applying mascara. I'm applying my more lengthening mascara as you know, you want your lashes to be like long and flirty. <laughs> look how gorgeous the eyes are. Like, oh my god, love this eye makeup. Let's move on to lips. I think it's always important to go in with a really dark lip liner, it really gives you like that sultry, contoured lip look. And then I'm just going over with a pink lip liner to like blend everything. All right, and now I'm just gonna add a little bit of this pink gloss. It's got in really dark, really fast. I don't know what happened, but this is how it looks in like low lighting. And I think it looks honestly really pretty. But yeah, let me get a light. Okay. Ooh, it looks so good. I'm loving my makeup. I'm obsessed with the black outfit too. This is just... So cute. This is the thing, you guys. It's not about impressing. Well, it is about impress, but it's also about like feeling good within yourself. Ah, oh, I'm feeling great. Okay, you guys, this is the finished look. I'm honestly super obsessed. This is like my go-to every time I do go on a date, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm gonna do a few little touches like my perfume and my jewelry, my handbag and some heels. But yeah, let's go on the date. <laughs> just finished dinner we went to Grill Americano it's the first time I've ever been there and it was genuinely one of the best places I've been to in my life like the pasta I live laugh loved my time there did you live laugh love your time there yeah they treated us good it was so good they were so nice if you ever go to Grill Americano ask for Chris he was the best waiter and he was so lovely and I don't know, I just had the best experience ever, so. I love you guys, I had the best date with the best crew, with the best boyfriend, obviously. Make sure to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram at leahholton underscore.